Yes, sir. So what is A equals to? A is equals to one. No. Um, A is equals to um, P. Yes. And what is B equals to? 5x. Just 5. No, minus 5. Yeah, minus 5, sorry. And what is C equals to? Minus 6. Minus 6. Now, let's look at this thing that in the yellow, the one I put in yellow. What do they call that thing? It has a name. It is the discriminant. The discriminant. The discriminant is like a security which decides what is going to happen. So I'll draw three shapes for U-shaped gap. If that discriminant, if B squared minus 4AC, if that is bigger than zero, the graph will cross the x-axis twice. So there'll be two answers, one, two. If B squared, so that's for the for B squared, if that discriminant is bigger than zero. If the discriminant is not bigger than zero, let me bring the diagram. No, not that one. So we've got the diagram, a second one, and a third one. For this second one, the discriminant is less than zero. So the graph could be like that, hanging in the air. It doesn't cross the X axis. And for the third one, the discriminant could just touch it once. So that means B squared minus four AC is equals to zero. Now they said two distinct roots. So two distinct roots. So the one that has two distinct roots is this one there. B squared minus four AC is greater than zero. So we know B is minus five. So put minus five, squared minus four times a is p times c is minus six it has to be greater than zero so all i am doing here is putting b squared minus four times a times c is greater than zero Simplifying that, 5 squared is, minus 5 squared is 25. And then, minus 4 times minus 6 is plus 24p is greater than 0. You want to make p the subject. You take the 25 to the right-hand side. You get 24p is greater than minus 25. You happy with that? Yes, sir. And then what will p be? P will now be um, minus 25 over 24. Minus 25 over 24. That's four marks for past exam paper. And that's what they wanted you to show. So p now is the minus 25 over 24, which is what they wanted you to show. I wanted you to show. And when you show something in right is right, you can write the word Q E D. It's Latin, which says quote eras demonstratum. It means in English as required to show. The question was for us to show. That P is greater than minus 25 by 24. 
So when you show it, you can write QED. QED is Latin, quod erat demonstratum. And in English, you can translate it as, as required to show. And you can see you're showing it by using logical steps. So if you write that down, and then we can move on to the next 